What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Legend Killer 23's channel. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for logging into YouTube and thanks for checking out this video. Before we get started today, the first thing, if you can, a chance you can do is go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you like my toy hunts, you're going to love this video. It's a great tutorial video. It's all about WWE today and about how to make some custom WWE shirts. I know you guys hate those shirts that come in with the toys. I hate some of them too. Some of them are good. Some of them suck, especially some of the older ones. So today I'm going to show you how to make your own shirts. You're going to need the right materials. I'm going to give you a list of everything that you need to make them. I'm going to give you the app that you need to download so you can go ahead and print your stuff. You're going to need a printer for this video. If you don't have one, you can get one when you can, or you can borrow somebody else's printer. Go to somebody's house and use their printer. Um, but it's very easy to do. Doesn't take me more than 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes to complete a shirt. Um, once I print out all the decals that I want, it's really, really easy to do, and you guys could do it yourself. You probably pay 10 to 12 to $15 every time you order some custom shirts from someone else. You can get all these materials that you need to make your shirts for 10, 15, 20 bucks, and you can make a hundred shirts for that price. So think about that if you wanted to save some money. I do it because I like to do it. It's great work, it's easy work, and it's actually fun and therapeutic for me. Um, I like to sit in my toy room and create different shirts. I like to make shirts that are not even out, um, especially with some of the newer shirts that come out. So today's video is gonna be all about showing you guys how to make your own custom shirts. These are some of the shirts that they do give us, if you guys know about that. They kind of look flimsy, kind of trash. Let's get them out of here. Let's make our own shirts, guys. Here's an example of some of the shirts that I've been making in my collection. So I'll show you one. That's my Monday Night Messiah shirt. I've made this about a month and a half ago. Um, it came out pretty good. Basically, what goes on with these shirts is you have to trial, test, and run. I've made tons of shirts that didn't come out good or came out okay, and I didn't like them. I did keep them in my collection just to have them, but it's all about trial and error. After you make a couple, you really do get better at it. Again, the paper to make the decals is very cheap, and I'll show you that soon in the next clip. But that's what we're gonna do today, guys. So if you're interested in making custom shirts, keep watching the video. At the end of the video, I'm also gonna discuss my um, 750 subscriber giveaway. So that's coming soon, and I'm gonna let you know what we're gonna do with that. But for now, let's get into the shirts, guys. You wanna see me make them? I'll make them. You guys gotta subscribe and you gotta like the video. Okay, let's go. All right, guys, let's get right into the materials that we're gonna need today to make our custom shirts. And I'll show you the first thing you definitely need to get. Transfer paper. Okay, you can buy this at a Walmart. Um, I believe this was $9. You get 15 transfer sheets. On each sheet, you could probably make about five, 10, 15, maybe 20 shirts. So that's a pretty good deal. 20 shirts at a one sheet of paper. You probably could make more if you make smaller logos, but that's the paper that you need. White chalk. That's gonna be able to mark the lines on the material when we're going to go ahead and um, kind of draw out the lines that we need. Um, what I don't have pictured here is a ruler, but you do need a ruler so you can measure out or a measuring tape to measure out how big and wide and long you wanna make it. And you'll see that when we start making them. Velcro, got this again at Walmart. It's double stick Velcro, so it comes with both sides. We use this for the back of the shirt so the shirts can stay on the figures. You need a scissor, cut the shirts. Um, black shirt that you have in the house or any kind of color, any color shirt that you have. You can go ahead and buy some t-shirt material as well at stores like Joann. Um, but I just use whatever old t-shirts that I'm not wearing and boom, I got about 10 shirts or 20 shirts left in this shirt. You definitely need that. Um, the last thing you're going to need is a printer. Okay. One thing you got to have is definitely an inkjet printer. Mine's is an HP. That's the model number. Under a hundred bucks. Very affordable. After you have your printer, you're basically just going to be able to use that for printing. The application that we're going to use, I'm going to show you that when we go ahead and start doing the designs. You'll have to download it from your app or your Samsung or, or use Samsung and Google. So uh, use your iTunes uh, app or your Google app and go ahead and download the app that I'm going to show you guys how to use. That's basically so you can design the logos, the size that you need them. Um, they're usually about an inch to an inch by inch. So that's usually the size of them. So let's get right into it. Let's start with the first step. What we're going to need to do is cut our material and get the shirts ready and prepped. The other item that you're also going to need before I forget is this item. Okay, this item right here, I almost forgot to mention, is uh, your iron. So you might already have an iron at home. This is a mini iron I got from Walmart for about 10 bucks. Great deal on this. Really, really great deal on this item. Um, you're going to use this to iron down the logos on the shirt just the way they do in the stores. It's the same exact thing. So this iron is really good. It's travel. It's small. 10 bucks on walmart.com or Walmart in the store is where I found it. The other thing you're gonna need before I forget to go is also the thread. You can get this thread and needle from anywhere. I hand thread all my shirts. Um, I did buy a threading machine um, or a sewing machine, a mini one. I just didn't like the way it came out. 
This was a little bit better. It's not as hard to do, but I'll show you that when we create the shirts, guys. So let's get started. Let's see what we got and let's see what we're gonna do next. All right, guys, the first thing you wanna do is cut your shirt down into little pieces of material. I like to start at a certain point of the shirt, so this way I have the shirt overlapping. As I'm cutting it down, I go ahead and cut down the pieces into half for the pieces that I might need. About how big you need is gonna be up to you. So these are the pieces of the material that I use, just so you guys can see. All right, so it's basically one piece folded in half. That's gonna be your baseline for your shirt that you're gonna make. The reason why we got this top up here is so we can do the shoulder pieces down here as we use them to draw. What we need to do now is go ahead and measure the shirt up against one of the figs and kind of see how much space we All right, guys, based on the size of the wrestler and the figure that you wanna use, that's how you're gonna determine how big you want a shirt. If I'm doing a shirt for this type of figure, it's gonna be a little bit smaller than if I'm doing a shirt for an Otis or a Braun Strowman or someone who's a little bit bigger. That's where the ruler comes in place. So if you're gonna go ahead and measure, you're gonna to need to measure the size of the chest and the length of the torso, which is super important. That's how you determine how much of the shirt you wanna use, okay? So if I go like this, I can kind of understand how much of the shirt I wanna use. I've already measured that out. It's usually one by two or two by two inches. So we can kind of figure that out right now. All right, guys, after I figured out how much space I want to use, it's basically gonna to have to be about this. So it's usually about two inches. And it's usually by two inches. At this point is where I get my chalk. That's where the chalk comes in. I kind of use this as a marker. It's the only thing that works really well to write on the actual material. So if I go ahead and mark this up, for example, if I want to go one by two, I put that in the middle. And then I go ahead and mark that line right there. So that's how the marking goes on there. So that line is basically where I need to get the bottom of the shirt. And this is inside out for the first part before we flip it over. So after I got that line right there, I'm pretty good to go ahead and kind of just based on body size, I want to probably go up just something like this. Now I can make adjustments around the way, but if you look at some of your older shirts, this is exactly how they go. They go from smaller to the top where it gets bigger. And then of course, where you cut off to do your shoulders, depending on how you want to do your tank top. I usually do all my shirts and tank tops. I like them better. You can also do with the sleeves as well. If you just mark it off here, as you're wanting to do sleeves. So if you wanna do sleeves, you're gonna need a little bit of extra material and that's where you decide when to cut. Again, if it's your first time, you play around with it until you figure it out, until you get it the way you like it. It's all about the shirt size and how big and long it was. When I first started doing shirts, they would be too long, too wide, and they didn't look right. So the smaller, the better, especially with these figs chest, they're not that big. So if I go ahead and put that up against Johnny right there, kind of get an idea how much of the shirt is gonna wrap around him. Okay, the next part you already know is gonna be in the middle and that's where you're gonna cut your hole for the head. And that's really easy to do as well. Okay guys, let's move on to how we're gonna go ahead and cut this and then start stitching. All right, everyone, the first part we gotta do is go ahead and cut right down the bottom of the line of the shirt. So you can go ahead and cut through there. Okay guys, there you go, the bottom is cut off. Once you cut that bottom piece off, you wanna go ahead and start cutting a little bit of the sides, just underneath the line. Not right on the line, just underneath the line. Your line is gonna be where we're gonna sew. Okay guys, there you go. As you can see, it's coming together. You're already getting your shirt part in right away. All right, let's go on to what our stitching is going to look like. We do need to mark where we wanna do our tank top. How much space you wanna have between the neck how much space you wanna have between the neck and the underarm. That really determines on how much space you have on the neck and the shoulder. So if I go ahead and look at that, that's about how much space I have. I would say I'd probably put it somewhere right around there. All I gotta do is transfer that to here. And again, make the marking. So that's how I want my shoulders to be. That's how much tank top space I wanna have. I'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So it's gonna be right around there. 
So now I know how much space I have to go down this way for under the arms. You guys can kind of see the shirt already coming to play. Again, we're gonna sew around these lines and that's how we're gonna make sure that everything is looking clean. All right, let's get into the sewing part. Okay guys, we got the black thread, the needle threader to go through the needle. It is kind of hard to thread the needle through there. Um, this is basically really old school guys. If you ever sewed anything, if you haven't done it before, it's really easy. You just need your thread. You pull it out as long as you wanna use it, um, pretty much to cover the side of the shirt because you're gonna go back and forth a couple times that once that's done once you get it through your needle then you're ready to sew so let's go ahead and get this through the needle first and then we'll get right into the sewing all right guys we've got our needle it's got a long enough thread probably about i don't know six or seven eight inches and then it's really easy guys you just have to thread through the lines just the way i'm going to do here so starting at the bottom basically going to go through there come up Go back down, really simple stuff, guys. Yes, this is very manual to do it this way. Would it be easier to do it a sewing machine? Absolutely. If you do have a sewing machine, follow the same exact process. Just go through with your sewing machine and sew right against the line that you made. Idea of what you have to do when you're sewing. Yes, this is tedious, but as you do it and not doing it in front of a camera, it's a lot easier. So you guys can see it's gonna go under the underarm because we don't wanna to go too high, we don't wanna to go too far back, but we do wanna go up a little bit, just so we can get under the arm, so that the underarm or the arm itself can go right through. All right, guys, both sides are all threaded up. The one thing you have to remember to do, guys, is tie a knot at the bottom of both of your threads, else the thread will come loose as you're putting the shirt on. So you have to remember to tie a knot. So I went ahead and sewed up both of these sides right here. They're all sewed up. The only thing I got to do now is make my cuts here for my tank top for the arms, and that is it. So let's go ahead and do that. So there's our shirt. It does look a little wide right now, but once you put it on the figure, you're going to see the difference, especially once the shirt folds in, because it will fold in right here. If you have any access, you can just cut it right there. You also, again, don't wanna cut the thread that you've already threaded, cause then you're gonna be in big problems. So let's go ahead and remove that. Let's go ahead and cut the neck part. So the neck part, again, has to just make sure that you cut through, you can see? So when cutting the neck part, you basically wanna cut a little slither right here and a little slither right here. Again, guys, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's your shirts, you're making them. And uh, you take your time and you do it the way you want to do them. Once you got that nice little slit in there, you can kind of cut it right out. It'll be like a little neck hole. You can do it as wide and as long as you like. Little neck hole right there. That's perfect. If I want to slim this down, I can slim this down by cutting over here. If I want to slim that down, same thing right there. But I think we're going to be pretty good with the neck part right there. So we kind of want those shoulders to kind of show a little bit, right? You want that shirt to go around there like that. So that's how that's looking so far. Let's go on to the next part. This is gonna be inside out anyway. This will be the part where your Velcro is gonna go on. So we wanna get right down the middle and we wanna just go ahead and cut that right down the middle, like so, boom. So we can go ahead and flip the shirt now, inside out, and there we go we have our shirt. Now, if we wanna go ahead and test it to make sure it looks right, we can go ahead and do that too. So let's go ahead and put this on Johnny. Let's see what this is looking like. We do need to make a custom shirt for Johnny. He's got a new shirt out. So again, we can go ahead and make that for him as well. So the material on here is not stretchy. It's just regular cotton. And as you guys can see, there it is. So it's looking pretty good so far. Again, we still need to add the Velcro on the back so we can close it up. All right, guys, we got the iPad out right here. This app is called the Circuit app. You can search for it on your app store again. I will leave the link and the name of this um, app so you guys can go ahead and find it and download it. It is free. Um, once you have your logos, which you can go ahead and take a picture of any logo anywhere on the internet, 
and go ahead and save it onto your phone or your tablet and you can use the app to go ahead and recreate it by editing it. Um, of course, you're gonna go ahead and crop out just the picture that you want. For example, as we have some pictures here, as you can see, we have the Monday Night Messiah shirt right there. We got some AJ, we got some Daniel Bryan on there. So these are shirts that I've already wanted to start making already. But as you download this app, it's really easy to use and they do to give you a tutorial on how to use it. You can also search a tutorial on YouTube on how to use it as well. But if I wanted to upload another picture to this, all I have to do is hit upload, go to my browser history, Okay, so here's a picture of a Kofi Kingston shirt that I wanted to do. So once you have that, all you have to do is hit next. Transfer it here by just pushing that. Next. We want to click on the one on the right with the photo. If not, it'll save the black image. We want to just name it Kofi shirt. And we hit done. Okay, once you have your canvas and you click image, once we upload the shirt, it's there, right there on the side. This is where you have the opportunity to change the size. So when you click on each item and you hit edit, you get the size. So I kind of know what size I need to do for shirts. It's usually one by one. So this says one by 1.2. That's the perfect size. Once I go ahead and save all the shirts that I want to go ahead and print, I will go ahead and go right to make it at the bottom. Hey, once we go to make it, that's how it'll look on when it prints out on your paper. Again, that is, let me see, five, 10 shirts on half a sheet of paper. If I want, I could do another 10 here, another 10 here. I could do 30 shirts on one sheet of paper, which is a really good deal. Once I go ahead and print, that's going to come out right now. And you guys can kind of see what it looks like as a bam. So here you go, guys. That's what the sheet is going to print out just like that. You have to put your paper inside the printer, follow the instructions for the paper. The lines usually go face up. And then it prints out just like that. So I've cut out two of the logos that I've already used previously before. These are the rest of the logos I want to use. So that's what I have right now. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do this uh, Daniel Bryan Yes shirt in black. I know it originally came out in gray, but I want to go ahead and do that Yes shirt in black. So we'll go ahead and take our scissors. We'll cut it out and we'll go ahead and show you how to iron that on. All right, guys, there's the Yes logo. So basically you wanna also cut around it so that you don't have any of the white showing. Once you go ahead and cut that, just cut around the edges. It's a black shirt, so you kinda of wanna actually go more into the edges. Um, so this way you don't have any of this little gray showing. And you wanna get mostly just the logo inside the shirt. So you can cut all around it, no big deal. There you go. It's gonna fit perfectly on the shirt. So here's our sh our logo. We're gonna have to peel this off of here. All right, guys, we're ready to iron on. You're gonna need this piece right here. This comes with your packaging of your iron-on fabric. So that goes on top of the iron-on, which is this. When that goes there, you're gonna need your iron, of course. We need to heat that up. Soon as it's hot and ready, you can go ahead and start ironing on. The first thing we gotta do is go ahead and peel off the little back piece. Okay guys, once you got that peeled, go ahead and put it there. Center it to the best of your abilities, closer to the neck, preferably right there. Um, that should be perfect. You can move it around as you want. You need to have this on top of it, pressing it down, and then you just iron. So easy guys. Then you just go ahead and push your iron down against it. You can actually make your own WWE shirts with this as well, guys. Again, this is just transfer paper. You can buy at the stores just the same way people do their own t-shirts. So there it is, guys. Press it down a few seconds. You can look at it to see how it is. It's looking good. It's definitely in there. So we'll go ahead and press it down a little bit more. The heat kind of seals it up. Super simple, guys. Super simple. There you go. It's on there. Your Yes shirt ready to put on your figure. Let's go ahead and do the last step, which is gonna be the Velcroing of the back of the shirt. Let's All right, guys, that's looking really, really nice. So we got the Yes shirt in black. I know it did originally come in gray, but I like it better in black. 
Um, the logo actually is black and red too, which is pretty good. It's gonna go ahead and match up right here to our Daniel Bryan. So let's go ahead and put our Velcro on there and let's see how that looks. So Velcro. And no, we're not gonna use the whole thing, guys. It's just a very thin piece of the Velcro. So for example, we're gonna cut probably like right around here. So we need a long piece. So we wanna cut about that much. So let's go ahead and do that. It's very sticky on the tape part. So I wanna make sure we re-flatten that out. So we got one piece. This piece, same, same type of size. Use your judgment, of course. It's not gonna be bad if it's too, long, um, too wide or too thin. It's gonna be fine because these two pieces are gonna adhere to each other. Boom, like that. So the back of this is sticky, so you can stick it onto your shirt. So let's go ahead and do that. That's what your Velcro should look like. So one side will be on the outside, one side will be on the inside. So you can go ahead and close it like that with the Velcro. Very, very easy, guys. So that is it. That's how we do the shirts, guys. That's how it's done. That is the, the part, probably the hardest part is just redesigning the way you want your shirt, the way you want your sleeves, the way you want all the material, the way you want the colors that you want to do. That's probably the hardest part. All right, guys, there's your Daniel Bryan with his yes shirt on there. The most important part for me is about getting the shirt not too long, is to kind of still see a little bit of the trunks under there. Um, again, though, another important part was getting the sleeves correct. I can always thin these out if I want to by going back and cutting around. Same thing with this side right here. Um, getting the Velcro right is pretty important as well because else it won't close up correctly. And there's getting the right size and the length is the most, most important part. So there is your yes shirt. All right, guys. So what'd you guys think? Did you have some fun trying to learn how to do the shirts? Um, if you did, go ahead and leave a comment below. If you think there's something you can do a little bit better also, go ahead and leave that comment below also. If you have a different technique or something that you already do your shirts and you're already doing your own custom shirts, go ahead and leave me a comment below. Let me know your YouTube channel as well if you're going ahead and do your own shirt so I can check you out as well. Um, so again, here's the finished product. There's the Yes Man right there in the Yes shirt. Um, hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. If you check out my collection video, you'll see a bunch of my other custom-made shirts as well. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, of course. More videos on the way, more toy hunts, more tutorial videos. So if you like this video, don't forget to thumbs it up. Don't forget to subscribe. If you hit the alert button over there, it will actually let you know when the new videos are coming out. So thanks, guys, for watching again. I appreciate everybody. When I get to 750 subscribers, I'm going to go ahead and do a giveaway. I'm going to give away one of the figures from my collection, something that I have a double or a triple of for you guys just for being subscribers. So if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe because the giveaway is coming very soon. Subscribers go up every day. 750 subscribers should be in the next two weeks. So once that hits, I'll announce the giveaway and I'll do it right on here. If you're not following me on Instagram, go to my Instagram as well. You can go ahead and check out all my photos and pictures there of my custom shirts as well. Thanks guys for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Until the next time, it's your boy Legend Killer 23 